have minutes from April 5 to approve. Will we approve them? Second. So moved and approved. Okay. Scheduled appointments, water merger, district representatives and commissioners. Hi. Hi. So how, how's the merger going? It's uh, where are we at? When can we expect the merger? <laughs> how much will it cost? Any other questions? <laughs> These are good questions. Yeah, we're standing for it. <laughs> yeah. Good question. Yeah. You got the engineers looking at where to put the building again because of the setbacks, and he's trying to stay as close to the setback lines as he can to stay far enough from the riverfront as he can and the wetlands. And riverfront. Would you like to see the map? What river? <laughs> yeah. Build it. The little, the little string down. Oh, the, the, dingle. the dingle string. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say. And then it might be useful to show them though where, where yeah. he's proposing to site it. Here's this one. Here's the little stream. Okay. And here we are. There's where we want to try putting it. The setbacks are this dashed line you see this? You see this? and this dashed line. Yeah, you guys want to come up. Yeah. So he's, this is the I mean, he's touching it right next to him as close as he can. Because you're going to be so far away from here. Yeah. <coughs> and so, so, so we're a few feet. In. In on this, this side. That's yeah, because this right. side is going to get valves put in outside. Okay. Or just in case this goes down, you can shut some valves, open up other ones, and still feed water. Where, where's that existing uh, shed or whatever it's out here now? Uh, oh, that's further away. That's yeah, way back, back here, here somewhere. Oh, okay. This looks a lot farther off the road well, than that's actually say, it actually yeah. is. <laughs> Which it's like 50 feet. It's yeah, not that say, far. Yeah, maybe 60 yeah, feet. Yeah, Look yeah, one inch is 20 feet, so yeah, maybe 40 feet, 50 feet. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, a few of the district commissioners met with Ann Barker over there to Saul on her property, and she seemed really pretty relaxed about the whole situation, uh, understanding that it seems like something has to be done. Her concerns were, she said it's Currently, th this location is well screened from the barn, okay. which I think was her main concern, but she thought maybe some more screening in front would be useful. Is this a, your standard brick building? No. We're talking about you know, it like won't a, look clabber, like, a clabber. Oh, a clabber. Uh, yeah, it won't look like a brick vault. Sure. Like the usual pump house. Right. It'll look this more like a little shed or a building. The design that uh, George McCaller has drawn up. Where does the existing water line, where do two water lines come in? Is this one here? Ours? One the town's, <coughs> the town's is this W, this dash line. No. And it goes up that way? That, no, no, this that's one. That's the setback. No, this is ours. This is the setback. W is the water, water yeah, department. Yeah, this is the water line, the W, the dash W line. Theirs is over here. Is it, there's the John, dead ends right John there. Hannum's house is right there. Yeah. And, and that's. And how far? Where does this line end right now? This one? It doesn't. It goes all the way up to the tank and then all the This is the, the closest location, though, right there. Okay. This, I don't know if he's going to draw it on there, but. So we're, how, how right about you? right there. That's the fire hydrant that's down in that little triangle just to the north of the cemetery. Yeah. So where are you actually connected? Right here? No, we'll tap our pipe here, yeah. and then this. Then we'll come into the pump house with it, and then you'll have to lay the pipe from here down this way. He's got it drawn across. Oh yeah, and then across the street, right? And then John's. Okay. This is, and this is your fence line. You've got basically, and that's the edge of your road. So you're you're, you're going to be outside of that, right? 
yeah, it's, I mean, as much as we can, because all the town's water lines are right, they're not under the road. So when something breaks or somebody wants to tap into it, we don't have to dig the road up. Right. Oh, oh they're not under the road. You know? Yeah, they're just on the edge of the road, off the pavement. And they went four foot down? Yeah. On average, uh, four or five feet. Ours are, yeah, ours are five. Yeah. And so how far is the right road? I don't think he shows anything back far enough. Yeah, so we don't see the, the tank sort. The, uh, no, that's... I might have that. Oh, not on this map. I mean, do we have a... I have. I'm curious about I can go get that It one doesn't then. matter. It's a tank, right? Our tank? Well, the, the tank that's going to be... Or the tank that is up there. Yeah. Is that... The half billion gallon tank? Yeah. Okay. And I've never seen How it. far is it from the from ambition here? It's going to be a thousand feet. I would say. Guessing. Okay. Right? I would say that from here. All right. So, so oh, I would say it's a close to a thousand feet. <clears throat> so we've got a plan. You know, he's the engineer, he's got the pump guys pricing in the skid unit, which is what it's on. This stuff right now. Yeah. So With the pump. And he's going to give, he'll give me a price on the unit with just the domestic pumps and what the generator run the domestic pumps would be and then he's going to give me the price on fire. the whole thing with the bigger pump for the fire protection and the extra generator, the bigger generator. So this is only for use in the fire? Yeah. And these things I can't fire. see. Well, fire and when that comes in handy is when you get a flush the mains. Oh yeah. Because these two, these two when you open up a hydrant to flush it, all the houses will lose pressure. Are these diesel fired or are they electric? These, are they electric? The pumps are all electric. And there's a backup system? That's the generator. The generator. Yeah, yeah. the EV so requires that now. Right? No, we'll, get, yes. we'll have propane. Propane, okay. Figure there's gonna be a propane heater to heat the building, okay. so we must just sure. use the propane to burn run the generator. Yeah. Both in terms of pumps going to be used all the time, or what are you alternating? What it, yeah, right? what it is, it'll be set up kind of like the Westbrook one is. One comes on, and then that'll ramp down, and it'll let one pump cycle twice, is what it does now, and then it gives that one a break and switches to turn the other one on and on. Then goes back to the other one again. So you don't run one pump all the time and burn one out. So if one fails, you're still going to have the other one going. Right. Yeah, you're always, well, yeah, unless for some strange reason both of them decide to go on the same day. But. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's the old water boost. Well, that's kind of the, it's kind of what the layout of inside the building would look like. I see. This would be the cemetery. This would be the, right, the road. The road. The only thing we were talking about was moving the doors onto this side, so it's not on the side the roof comes down. I thought we were moving it to the far end. You want, did <coughs> the latest is moving to the front? The east side. The east side? The east side. So if you put it on the east side, the side, then you got to move this oh. somewhere. No, all this has to do is really turn. Okay. So have you gone back to the engineer and said, yeah. draw it up? Yeah. But that's what we're looking into now is how far we can push this and still stay far enough away from the riverfront and that stuff. How far the building can go back? Yes, because you've got it. To put the doors on this side means you're going to put the driveway on this side, which means now you've got to go farther away from the setback, which moves the building farther in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the added expense was just the additional road. No, it actually leave less road. Less road. Oh, because, because we have to come in. Way. Yeah, so instead of calling up the cemetery more. But that's another thing I'm looking at there. I brought that up at our meeting. He has this going, was it this one you can see it as? I think he's too far into the cemetery here. 
where he's proposing to put the driveway. Oh, yeah. Because I actually think there's, when we were looking at your cemetery maps, I actually think there's vaults down in the ground where he's got the driveway. So you're proposing rotate this 90 degrees and have the north edge on the edge of the. Mm -hmm. No, the building will stay just like that. Oh. It's just these doors will move there instead of the driveway coming in here and just coming so in. So why put the driveway closer on the east side? Because last time you and I talked, you were talking about putting it on the west side. I don't know. I don't. I think George is getting his east and west mixed up. Is this is this the front? Do you think he wants it actually on the west side, or do you think he on the east? He always wanted on the east side, I'm sure. but there was confusion in his communication. Yeah, because it, it's one or the other. You can come on this side, and but then that would mean the generator goes in the front. So it's either so the generator in the front seems less good. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's either the generator in the front or the driveway. Because you could throw, because I asked the zone, you could put the generator over here, but you'd have to get a variant because it's over the setback. Why wouldn't the roads just go straight here and have it turn about here? This road's here. Oh, that's right. The road's here, and the idea is that it's hidden as the much dash, as possible. The dash line, mm -hmm. that's the existing cemetery road. He's just talking about making it wider, property, which I don't think you can property, help with. The property line is right here. We can't we can't move that road any closer. Okay. Well, fine. <laughs> Whatever it needs to be done. Right. You're, You're on cemetery property, though. Right? You're on cemetery property, though. This, this, this is cemetery property. Yeah. That roadway is. Yeah. Okay. And right next to it mm -hmm. is you've got the piece of that fence, right? right. right by yeah, the barbed wire fence. Barbed wire. Yeah. There's only there's only a short distance between the two of them. And we've got we've got actual burials right up to the edge of that road. That road. So they, you, there's, there's, we don't have any fudge room in that front. Right. We could move the road this way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as far as I, I'm assuming you guys are and John Combs are working out the details. I don't. I don't, I don't need to get I don't need to get into the details. As because as none of this, these are all his, the engineer's preliminary things. I just care how much it's going to cost and when it's going to happen. Oh. I mean, I hope it looks good, I hope it works, yeah. all that. But, you know. Well, you've got, you got, you got a couple of things that are okay. pushing us into that corner, okay? The wetland being one of them. Right. And the property owner has been very, very cooperative um, with this whole idea. Okay. Uh, and on this side, we've got the cemetery, and, and it would take an act of Congress for us to take land away from the cemetery and they'd have to dig up people and sell them to Hatfield or something. What are they going for? You know, we never got that fire with it. They walked out of the meeting and threw up their hands. probably pretty old. Uh, anyway, what, what's the stop? Uh, some of them are beyond uh, repair. Uh, uh, What's the stop you from moving the road closer to more over that way? Nothing. I don't think we need because he's putting the road up. We can't move it this way because of people there. Yeah, he'll uh, complain. Why, 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 yeah, why can't yeah. you? You can move. He doesn't it. need to move. He'll be he'll, he's he'll he'll just be making. He drew the, the road, road wider. Yeah. He wanted the road wider coming in, which really there's nothing wrong with the width of the road that's thick. Okay. So getting back to my original yeah. query, where are we in the I'm hoping by I would yeah, I'm hoping by the end of this week he'll have the price of the pump units. Oh, okay. Which I can't say for sure, but I would say that's the big expense. That big guy's hundred horse or I think he was talking somewhere at fifty five sixty. Yeah, that sounds right. I mean, the big, the big jump in price is to get the bigger pump in. Sure. It doubles the price of the generator. Mm -hmm. So, could I raise an idea? That we had our water district meeting not that long ago, and a bunch of questions came up as we were explaining how this was going. And I was sort of surprised at the meeting because John Hamm was there, and he just said, well, what we really would need to fight fires in town is 2,000 gallons per minute, not 1,000. Well, we just said 1,000 because we didn't think we would get 2,000. And I thought, well, that's not right. You should at least say what you need right. and let other people decide whether it's okay or not. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And then questions came up about how much of the costs should be borne by the water district people who are going to have to tie into this versus the ratepayers versus the town. Because right. if we're upsizing the pumping in order to provide fire protection to the town hall and and other town buildings, that's not necessarily that it should be that cost shouldn't necessarily be borne by the water department or the water district. And so we wondered if it might instead of this being seen as primarily a water department project, it should be a larger town project. Well I thought and it should be overseen that. by like a task force of one person from the select board, fire chief, finance committee, water department, water district. I think we decided at one point this should be the cost should be borne by the whole town because it serves the whole town. I mean, certainly the water district is the center of Waitley, and if we're gonna have a community center, which are, and a library, they serve the whole town. Right, right now we're being told that the town center people have to pay a hookup fee of $3,500. And some people are saying, well, why should we have to pay that? So there are a lot of still questions yeah. about the financing yeah. of it that haven't been fully yeah. resolved. And some of those costs are related to firefighting and not related to drinking water. So uh, we thought maybe rather than, that, that there should be a larger town committee that sort of considers what's the right proposal for the balance between drinking water and, and, and fairness given the, the sort of costs already borne by the center of town folks and the firefighting. Well, you know, we, we did talk about this before and, and it, it came up that yeah we should have a committee and, and I brought it to either the department or district and ace and asked who should be on this committee and well it's the three of them should be on because there's not that many and I don't know what Nicholas what, what the district said well there's only two of us so that's the committee we don't need to set up a, another right. another committee for that we've got the two depart department and district talking and I was attending some of the meetings from the select board point of view, and that's what was the committee looking at it. Right, but well, we need the fire chief to be involved. Well, okay. Yeah. Add because into, we need to know exactly what they want and whether it's affordable or not. And then we need the yeah. finance committee involved to see whether the financing plan is something that they're willing to endorse or not. Okay. So I think it needs to be brought in. All right, Brian. Yeah, it, it certainly does. Um, can yeah. I just suggest for the people at home, if you guys can sit down? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wayne, you can take your mask or whoever mask. I, I do agree that that once we have a, a better handle on the cost, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that need to be worked out. Sure. In terms sure. of who pays for what and how much, and um, also keeping in mind that the water commissioners have have authority over the water system um, by statute, so um, there's different dynamics that we also have to think about. Well, right, and that changes once the systems are merged. Right now we have two water and legal entities. Right. So, okay, why don't we have, why don't you contact Paul and Taya and ask him to, uh, ask the finance committee to appoint somebody to be a member of the, the water merger committee. And Fred here will be the select board member. Yeah. Or Jonathan. Or if Jonathan, I don't mind. you know. I don't mind. I suggest maybe Brian should be on it, so. Yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'd like to say that. Fine with me. I'm sorry, I won't be able to be on it. But my <laughs> term is expiring. I'm sorry, how are you? My term is expiring. <laughs> a little sorry. <laughs> I'm in too bad because I used to work in pump stations as an engineer, but it, 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 it's, 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 a, get by. it's a big discussion to have because it involves equities, hookup fees and equities in other parts of town, sure. other, other parts of town, by hookup fees, with hookup fees. It's a really large discussion that's going to need to take place, and I'm not sure there's any easy answers. Okay. Before we involve finance, I think we need some more information on the cost here we're talking about. Otherwise, yeah. we're, we're just talking in the sky about all kind of different scenarios of what's it going to be. I think we need. Right, but you can't pin down costs until you know what the fire department wants. So. Well, right. that's part of it, but the cost yeah. of, of the pump station and the building and all that and laying the pipe, I mean, we should have a, a, a good handle on what that's going to cost. That's the well, first thing finance is going to ask. What's, of the pump. what's it going to cost? I know, but that's only one item. I mean, you've got many other items on that plan. 
And that's the first thing they're going to ask, well, what's the cost of the project? I don't know. Well, then we're just talking about different options. I mean, we're getting the costs right on the pumps so anyway within a week. That's part of the cost. Yeah, hopefully within a week I'll have those two prices. The price of the generator the skid the unit for just the domestic waters. That's what John wanted. He asked me if I could split it up into two. Yeah. To see what how much extra that bigger pumps adding to the system. So I'll have them too. Yeah, it's if he wants the two thousand gallons a minute, it'd be even more. But I mean, right now it's spec at a thousand. It seems like I mean, to me that'd be sort of a simple simple solution to the problem. In the, in the meantime, is see if the engineers would spec out two thousand a two thousand or or have a conversation with John and say what do you really want. Yeah, I can. I can ask. And then John. ask the engineers. It can't be that difficult for them to right. price out the bigger pump. So. and the bigger generator that would be required to power it. And then yeah. we would have numbers to discuss. You don't want to end up 10 years down the road saying, you know, we should have put in something bigger. Well, how much we should you, answer that question now. How yeah. much are you getting when you hook up the pumper trucks here? You're getting 2,000 gallons a minute or whatever? Out of that hydrant? Yeah. We can get 8,000. 8, okay. So the supply is not an issue then? No. Okay. No, you're not going to run out of water. And John was, he was, we sat at a note of kind of warning at our water district meeting about the limits of the thousand gallon pump and what that would mean to the buildings in the center of town. Well, it, it could only be hundreds of dollars difference, you know. If it's thousands of dollars, well, then it's a different story. I think it may be tens of thousands. Difference in price between a thousand and two thousand gallons. Yes. Don't you think it should be tens of thousands? Well, I'm pretty sure a long time ago when he was talking with us, just it doubles to go from 750 gallons a minute to 1,000 gallon a minute pump, double the price of the generator from I think 25 to 50,000. I don't know. I mean, these are yeah. pretty straightforward oh, engineering calculations. Yes. And I don't have the table, so I can't right. tell you, but uh, okay. you know, certainly. Yeah, it was a huge jump the bigger you went with the pump. Well, certainly, I mean, you know, we, we should know what, what, what we need in terms of flow, flow right. rate. So, I, I don't know, I guess John has a way of determining that. Paul. One of the things that has brought this to a head is our DEP are continually increasing more regulations and oversight what all of these water companies do, whether it be a small water company, whether it be the city of Boston. Everybody is having problem with contaminants in their water system, whether it's a new system or a system that's been in 200 years. And we have an opportunity to get the town in its entirety up to a level where we're going to feel comfortable with being able to maintain a good water system. I know I know there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of back and forth on it, but I think it would behoove us to take and really put on a hard push to get this thing resolved before we end up like they did out in Chicago and some of these other large municipalities. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, that's this is not a critical comment, it's just I've I've been involved in this since 1972 and we've we've made a lot of headway uh, but I think at this point in time we really need to take a good hard look at it yes it's probably going to cost a little more than we'd like yes I would really like to have clean drinking water as long as I'm kicking around sure so, when, how much uh, flow are we getting from the from the department now, when you from the hydrants, are you getting 2,000 gallons a minute? To fight a fire, what are you going to get? <clears throat> That's what I was just telling you. That hydrant, I could, the papers, and I could get you the exact ones, but I, I think you can get eight to eight, almost 10,000 gallons a minute if you want needed. Right from any hydrant? Uh, no, the one right there, where the triangle is, right. where the pump station right. would be. Okay, but but how about in in town? Uh, Hydrants, how much are you going to get out of the hydrant? Depends. Like the one up across from Goodrich's house, I think that one you can get 1,800 gallons a minute out of. Okay. 
Most of these down here, you can get probably four to 5,000 gallons a minute. Okay, so am I, am I safe to say, wherever there's a fire in town, you're gonna to hook up a pump and truck to the hydrant. You always do. You always do that. You're not gonna fight a fire right from the hydrant. No. So does it matter whether the hydrant, well, whether you get a thousand gallons or 2,000 gallons from the hydrant to the truck? Yeah, because you can only suck as much water. Exactly. You're only gonna get so much. You get right. gravitation. Right? Yeah, the, the trucks will push the pressure, but they can only suck as much as you're gonna give them. So even with 2,000 gallons, you're still gonna suck it dry or, or vacuum in there, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It all depends. We have to regulate fire chief here. Yeah, we need fire chief here. Yeah, it it all depends. There's a lot of variables into it. Yeah. So I, I guess. What I mean, most of the hydrants in town, you're you're not going to run out of water, no matter how many trucks we put on them. Yeah. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, is it does it matter if you're a thousand or two thousand gallons? If you're going to. You have to ask John. If you're going to. John said it. that's what you would need. That's yeah. what he's yeah. 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 John, I, I think. John's looking at it, he wants to run at least two deck guns. If something like one of the barns up there went up or something, and each one of them runs 800 gallons a minute. But you're gonna run that off the truck, so. Right, right, I think we're getting okay. the means here. Okay, I got it, okay. <laughs> I don't know how it's to do but it's not it's our bail. the bailout. capacity of the truck, it's the capacity of the line. Yes, right. I mean, are not able to match what the truck can do. Truck can yeah. do right. So we need John in here to have this discussion so do you, want, do you want John on the committee? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, so far we've got uh, Fred, Brian, John, who else? Somebody from fin FinCom. Yeah, Finance, uh, uh, Water Commissioner. Oh, uh, you know, I'll be on it, absolutely. Okay. At, at least me and maybe some other people from the district, or the commissioners. Nicholas and at least one other dis district. Maybe Scott would be willing to. Scott, I'll put your name down. Sure. We need to understand the limitations of the committee, though, vis-a-vis -vis the water commissioners who have control of the water system. The committee, the committee is not able to make any decisions That's, on behalf of that'll be your role in the water commissioners to make sure that everybody understands. That. So, so do you want somebody that's like you're, you'll be on it, Wayne? I mean, I'm just trying to get Wayne's the fact on it. <laughs> well, I'm the fact on it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah. all three commissioners. I mean that that's 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 the that's the that's the board commission that has control of the water system. So I mean, in, in essence, they really have the final say over what happens. Well, they should be on the committee, right? Yeah. But if if the if the select board and the finance committee decide that some of the costs will be borne by the town and not by the commission, that's important information for the commission to know as they weigh, you know their options and what they are willing to do or not do. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so um, we need to get this committee staffed and running. And meanwhile, we'll wait to hear from the engineers to get a more complete uh, yeah. picture of the costs involved and, and the, yeah, you know, we the need schematics and setup and all that. Anything else? No, it, it, you can no cost with different scenarios, different size pumps. Yeah. That would be, that would be helpful. Okay, are we good? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you. All right, uh, well, business, highway truck surplus. Good it's, job. It's, it sounds good. Good surplus. 2008 GT 8500 is overdue by the highway department. Right, so keep is recommending that you declare surplus property and disposed of municipalities. So online bill cash. Sounds good. Need your bro realignment. Bro realignment. There is a um, there's a viewing and a public hearing for the Franklin Regional Council of Governments is he did road the county layout. So they need to hold a road viewing and public oh, hearing, and that's going to be Thursday, May 11th. The road viewing is at 5, and the public hearing will be here at 5.30. All right. Who's conducting the public hearing? Um, it's, so 
so the, the, the layout can be changed so that they can the executive committee of Ferguson. So they're going to run this show? Yep. All right, Waitley Diner License. So wait a minute, are you, are you looking for some of, some of us to be there then? Um, you us to be there, or are we No, not to necessarily. Roll this? No, nothing, okay. So I mean, it requires, the planning board's already approved the layout. Okay. And it requires for a copy that can be to approve it. All right, the Waitley Diner Licenses, which I believe this is one. So we are looking so at many. Yep, so that is the, um, the license uh, to serve all club beverages. And this goes back to when the Whaley Diner was sold and F.L. Roberts removed the license and they were going to transfer it and it delayed it in transferring it. So now it's here. The, another one of those licenses is a common picture license and then the remaining ones are for video games. Video games. I don't know either. Because the state can get taxes from it. Yeah. If you don't license it, it's harder to collect taxes. But permanent, yeah. And then um, I'm also wondering if uh, you're amenable to prorating the, the annual fee. Right. Because it hasn't been, they haven't had it for the liquor license. Yeah. For the liquor license. Sure. Sure. New business. I'd say yes, right off the bat for the bucket truck. Okay. Although I don't know what it's being used for. <laughs> what is it being used for? What's the town of that? Memorial Day Parade. Did the Grange of Historical Society made the request? Grange Historical Society. We had a request. We had a request to put up flags. Right? Right? To put up flags. That's Carl and Brooks is getting a little. Instead of old. climbing ladders, they said, can the town of use course. the bucket truck um, and hang up the flags? As long as they're American. No Canadian French. Okay. All right, good. Town administrator updates. Town administrator updates. Um, we'll be having a meeting this week uh, with Eversource, keeping out a meeting with Eversource on Wednesday. And we'll have more information on this after that, but every five every five years Eversource releases a boom mower, tractor and a boom mower. Um, to a five town group. Um, and then there's always a lead town. And the lead town after five years gets to keep uh, the tractor and boomer. And Waitley is the lead town this year. Um, so um, eventually I'll, I'll be bringing forth a multi town agreement um, for you guys to review and sign. Okay. Memorial Day Parade. You're invited to walk in the parade. Paul, you said you would walk and rig. Uh, raise the flag, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the, of the uh, right. Um, I believe you have copies of the regional school building study that I had sent out. I believe I do. Um, I'm going to be meeting with the other town administrators and uh, the school um, school officials to just do a preliminary review of that tomorrow morning. Um, two other things. Um, we we'll also have to begin the everybody's favorite process of performance evaluations. Um, so we'll start with the department heads and we'll have, I'll get in touch with you, whoever the liaison is from the different departments and we can tackle those together. And then we received uh, our quotes for the, for the, the labor for the planting the trees at the, at the elementary school. The low bidder was um, CEO Frank, I don't know. If had, okay. And again, that's, Submitted to uh, for the insurance for the reimbursement. Okay. That is all I have. All right. Okay, so uh, it's time for executive session. Yeah, well, we should read.